Alright, folks, we're back. We're just talking to the failed game consoles, the PS Vita. It's kind of funny that that one failed, because that was the one with, like, a more traditional setup for the cartridges. Mm-hmm. Because the, the PSP had, this, like, m massive, like, mini-discs. Yeah, yeah. I just remember, like, I was... Because this was around the time I was a massive Uncharted fan. Mm-hmm. Uh... I was also... F <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna make a fat joke about uh, myself, but I was a massive Uncharted <laughs> But, uh... I mean, if you weren't, I was gonna... <laughs> You know what? And I, I, I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, and I remember, like, I, 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 like, I'd buy anything Uncharted. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then the, uh, I think it was, was it Golden Compass? No, that's a movie. <laughs> that's, 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 that's something very different. Uncharted Golden. What was it called? Golden Abyss. Uh, I remember that that came out on the on the the PSV and I was like, no, <laughs> I'm I'm not gonna buy that. <laughs> Why? Uh, no, no, I'm not gonna do that. I mean, I've heard uh, what's it called Uncharted Four for the PS4 was like mm -hmm. was actually pretty decent, mm -hmm. uh, but I just I just did not. Uh... I was about grabbing the like collection they have for PS4. Mm -hmm. I've thought about that too. Uh, well, I don't know why you'd think about it because you you don't have a, you don't have to play PS4 games. Mm -hmm. Oh you, wait, what are you talking about? They made a collection of the first three Uncharted games for PS4. Oh, I thought you were talking about the uh, the like P, the Uncharted Four P, or the PS4 Uncharted Four editions. Oh God, no! Yeah, because I've thought about getting one of those because I'm like, that's really the only game that that I'm like. I would I would get that for. Mm -hmm. uh, what would you also get? Would you would you also get Kingdom Hearts three? Eric, Kingdom Hearts hasn't been good since two. <laughs> I thought I thought I heard good things about Kingdom Hearts three. Yeah, I thought so. I could be wrong. But I'm not. You, you know, it's funny I'm that we're, not. that I'm, that you're saying three, and we, it, and I said it's, it's it hasn't been good since two because we get all these like point five and shit yeah, like right. That. Honestly, <laughs> so. so so it's it's been 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 a while. <laughs> like dream drop distance. Oh yeah. Which apparently is like part of the mainline stuff. I don't even know what's canon with that anymore. Yeah, right. It's so confusing. It, I mean, it was a confusing concept to begin with. It was you know like Final Fantasy with Disney. Okay, I guess it's not that confusing. <laughs> but like like on paper, it had to be this 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 complicated. But on the sa at the same time, like. I, I kind of wonder, like, I would love to be in that board meeting of, like, let's take Final Fantasy and combine it with these Disney, you know, IPs. Right. I'm like, okay. Why, though? <laughs> because money. I, I guess. I mean, hey, the main character of that, of that game just got into the biggest fighting game franchise in the world, so, like... Well, okay. Speaking, you know, the confusing, the confusing, like, Ooh. The, it just reminded me of the, uh, what's it called? Can I please get a, a video game character with an, e you know, an easy to explain backstory? Hi, I'm Sora from Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's very funny. That's funny, Arthur. <laughs> Classic <laughs> American comedy. Classic Japanese cartoon anime nonsense. <laughs> Classic nonsense. You know, you, you speaking of which, you uh, you you asked me like a, a while ago uh, what my favorite, like favorite or least favorite anime trope was. I yes, I did. Uh, and it, just the other day, uh, I, I was trying to get uh, Richard to, to come out with us. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, <laughs> don't say it, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> so glad we can accept ourselves, Joey. <laughs> okay, no, there's a dock around here. There, I think that, I think yes, that we, we as a group are collective. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alone, we are straight, but together, we, we are, are gay. <laughs> we are gay. <laughs> I would love to see that. I mean, Venom gay. is an LGBTQ. Uh, what? Uh, yeah, did you not see? There's like I think it's in the second one. He goes to like uh He goes to a nightclub. Yeah. 
then um, yeah, it's <laughs> Venom being an LGBT icon. Why? Why not the cute? <laughs> Because there's no questioning about it. Is that what the Q stands for? The dog. The dog. You know what? Before, before I make a fool out of myself. <laughs> Go on, Joe. Why are you always trying to inject your gay, your 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 gayness? <laughs> Patrick, your gayness is showing. Where? <laughs> How did you know? Oh, apparently it's LGBTQIA now. What does the IA stand for? No, that's. I mean, they've been around for a uh, Intersex and asexual. What's intersexual? Because I have never heard of that one. In it, an adjective used <gasps> to describe a person with one or more innate sex characteristics, including genitals. In turn, I, I'm, I'm such a kid. I should not be reading this. I'm gonna look. Let me let me see. I'm giggling at stupid stuff. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Intersex. An adjective used to describe a person with one or more innate sex characteristics, including genitals, eternal reproductive organs, and chromosomes that fall outside of traditional conceptions of male or female bodies. Being transgender, intersex people are assigned a sex at birth, either male or female, and that decision by medical providers and parents may not match the gender identity of the child. Not all intersex. What? That was much more tact than I. I don't <laughs> understand. I don't understand. We found a dog, everyone. Woo! The skinny brown dog leaping around the shallows. Occasionally, it lunges at the water, snapping at some small silvery fish. This technique is ineffective. You jump off the boat into thigh high water. The dog stops chasing fish and focuses on you. Okay, um. Throw some fish towards the dog. You throw some scraps into the water near the dog. It pounces at the splash and swallows seawater. And, and yes, Q is questioning. Slowly approach. Okay, that was not a bright. Okay, uh, throw some fish. Okay. Call for the throw dog. Throw the dog. <laughs> throw me. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Toss me. What? <laughs> Stops just out of your reach. Is it like, like baby stroller at the Grand Canyon? Oh yeah, it's like Toss me. <laughs> what? <laughs> pat the dog. You reach out and gently pat the dog. Its eyes follow your hand and it seems that you, it seems to understand you're not a threat. Pat the dog. Pat the dog. Pat the dog. Pat 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 pat. Just keep just keep patting the dog. This is the rest of the game, folks. Just pat. Just, what else do you do? Just keep petting the dog. You know, is there actually something you can unlock from this? You make your way towards the boat. As you're waiting out, you hear the sloshing of four legs cutting through the water. You stop and turn around. The dog is standing a few paces behind you. It tilts its head questioningly. <laughs> I did not think this said shoe. I thought this said shoot. No! <laughs> Take out the dog, Jimmy. I want to know what no kind smother. of monster <sighs> would Bull? shoo oh, the... walk, Jimmy. Would shoo the dog away. Let it follow you. We got a dog! Alright, now we gotta find this dog somewhere to live. Can we keep it? Promise to feed it and water it. What? Gro wait, what? Surprise tornado? I got a grotesque mackerel out of that! It dropped a fish on me! <laughs> Thank you? Cool. I, I need a uh, I I see see now I'm questioning. <laughs> I need somewhere to dock. Can you not dock at the ends of those docks? No. That seems kind of counterintuitive. Yeah. Oh, birds? No, not the burbs. 
quick, grab the mirror's coat hanger. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm now realizing that that I, I can I can almost say it's a safe bet that none of them have watched Birdemic. <laughs> I I am shocked by that. <laughs> I mean, it is called Birdemic Shock and Terror. Yeah, right. What what was that? All right. Now we need to rest. There we go. My insanity has gone down. Mine has gone nothing but up. <laughs> You know, Joe. Speaking of Nintendo, and like, what, what would you, what, what would you say your biggest problem with them is? Um, if you have one, that I don't play games. <laughs> that would be a pretty big problem. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't really have any like big gripes with Nintendo. I, I feel like you're more in tune with the like current happenings with them. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I will say like they, they definitely seem very focused on like pumping out the same types of things uh, which that can, I mean granted that's that's not solely to them like that's kind of every video game company at large mm -hmm. uh, but yeah I, 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 I don't know I mean generally this the, the kind of stuff I like is like the stuff that like like this you know yeah. that, that the, like Chances are most of our viewers probably haven't heard of it. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I it's don't been know. I feel like it's been making the rounds. Yeah, I mean, consider like Jack Septic I played it. And like, did Markiplier play this one? No, I don't know. Let's well, find out. I did see. Speaking of uh, boat-related or games with <laughs> horror elements and boats, w what a segue! Uh, did you see that? Uh, do you know about the Iron Lung game? I, I, I've heard of it, yeah. Did you hear it's getting a movie now? I did, and it's like, isn't it being made by Markiplier? I don't know if it's being made by Markiplier. I I, I know he posted, like, a trailer for it on, on his channel. Hmm. Um, he might, ha he might have something to do with it or have a hand with it. I, that, I know I heard, like, his name in tandem with it, so... <laughs> Maybe he's, like a, like, a big backer of it or something? Hmm. I don't know, like, producing it. Uh, what am I searching up again? Iron oh. Lung. Marker plier. Marker pliers. Marker pliers. No, I was searching up if he's played Dredge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dredge. This is like it'd be right up his alley. He has not. Weird. Mark, what are you doing? What has he been doing, actually? I don't... Mark me, boy. Uh, what? You know, he posted a video the other day. Mm hmm. And, uh, he's, sh he's clean shaven now. Mm hmm. And you know, like, the, the Marquad memes back in the day? Yeah. He looks so much like Farquad now. <laughs> uh, let's see. Markiplier. We found a researcher. <laughs> Tell me he does not. <laughs> yeah, he do. <laughs> yeah, that I, they do. That he do. Okay, so I need jellyfish. I need octopus. And I need squid. Oh, squid. This dog needs a home. Do you want it? Did you ever watch Squid Games? I did not. I thought about doing it, but... I never, I never like, hop on the bandwagon of things, like, when they're popular. It's only, like, years later. Like... <laughs> hmm. Yeah, honestly. I'm the same way. Or never at all. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um... I think I need to install some nets. Oh, Fortress is giving me PS P P PTSD from, from yesterday with Mike. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ancient Gear Fortress is a fuck. <laughs> it, it is a fuck. But you know what? Good, good for Mike for having a fuck. Right? Yeah, I'm, I was shocked at how like eff effective ancient gears were. Oh yeah, they they were they, they were cleaning up. Yeah. And with we'll that, to, we're about to clean, clean up, up this, this episode. episode. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Not the same Wi-Fi signal. Yeah, right.